was an expedition that I always heard my parents talk about a lot. At some point in time, I realized that it was coming up to the 25th, and I was like, oh, I, like, I have to do it. Yeah, there were three major feelings. There was excitement. Then I was scared. Yeah, there's so much that could go wrong. It just adds a lot of anxiety. And then I'm a father. I have children. What am I doing? You know, leaving a three and a four year old with their grandmother. I felt sad, you know, and guilty. Leaving my children for so long, four months was a long time. You guys have more experience than I did when I did it, so I hope you have a faster run. Good day to 10.30. Perfect day to 10.30. Happy birthday to you. We arrived in Clyde, and there was this Inuit man. He's built this igloo in less time than it takes us to put up our tent. And he just started to talk about how it was great what we were doing. And I'm inspired by you, who's a white guy from the South. And, and then, you know, 25 years later, my daughter's up there, and she's traveling with him. Do you remember meeting my parents when they came by 25 years ago? Yeah, I remember your father coming into school. Yeah, what the Inuit contributed to my life. For me, that is Baffin Island. That's my uncle. Come here. <laughs> this is a different sense of hospitality. And Inuit definitely gave me a sense of, I want to live here. I want to raise my kids here. <laughs> I remember my first time dog sledding. It was actually myself and a friend. I was eight. My parents gave me a dog sledding driver's license. And it says Sarah, age eight, on it. A lot of our focus kind of turned to the dog, except they can't talk to us. And they can't say, hey, today was a really hard day. We always knew that if, if you burn out a dog team, they don't just pop back. I think his paws are hurting, something's hurting, it's hard to tell what it is. I try not to dwell on all that could go wrong because I try to think about the skills that they have that'll get them out of jams. We're getting pretty hungry. We're getting hungry, we're getting skinny. I think it's like fucking minus 40 today. It, it's not warm. Another huge danger is uh, going through the ice. We're getting buried alive in the tent. It just keeps getting worse. When will it let up? I don't know how long we can take this. It doesn't take long before you can't operate. Are we going to make it? Are we going to get to the next community? 